In coastal areas and in rivers, floating and suspended matter of various kinds often accumulate in the water. In nature, such fouling does not normally cause any problems. However, where large quantities of water are required for cooling purposes, such matter may have negative effects. For instance, in power stations and with industrial users of large cooling water flows. Here, at the boundary between nature and inlet to the cooling water canals, such fouling concentrates. With velocities of up to one meter per second, the cooling water pumps draw huge water quantities into these canals, including the concentrated floating and suspended matter. At the end of the canals, the so-called deadlock effect is created. To be able to make use of the water for cooling purposes and to protect from obstructions those cooling water pumps located in the deadlocks of cooling water canals, such macrofouling must be separated from the water. According to a conventional concept, extensive multi-stage screening systems are required for this task, operating with various degrees of success. Whether jellyfish, fish, algae, seagrass or civilization refuse, like plastic bags, bottles and so on, all has to be conveyed out of the water to the surface. Collected in containers, this refuse causes considerable cost, as it is regarded as hazardous waste. In this plant as well, the cooling water was treated by means of rakes and traveling band screen. Within the scope of a total refurbishment of the plant, the decision was made to convert the cooling water inlet into tapis. For this purpose, the old pre-screening system was completely scrapped. The foundations were removed and existing openings prepared for closing. The tapis system designed for this plant mainly consists of foundation plate, interconnecting pipe between pump well and polyhedra, polyhedra with anti-fouling coated specially developed cling-free elements, control system, compressor, pressurized air receivers, interconnecting pressurized air pipes. Core of tapis are the polyhedra arranged on the left and right sides of the connecting T-piece. If the water depth is sufficient, these polyhedra are connected by flanges directly to the outer side of the pump well or, as in this actual case, via a pipe to a place with sufficient water depth. To lay the interconnecting pipe, a channel must be excavated into which the pipe can later be bedded. The interconnecting pipe is made of high-density polyethylene loaded with concrete elements to ensure full submersion. The foundation plate for the housing of the polyhedra is cast on shore and, due to its weight, floated to its destination. Here it is submerged and positioned exactly. For positioning, the Digital Global Positioning System DGPS is used. This system allows a control of not only the longitudinal axis, but also the exact depth and perimeter of the foundation plate. Once it is certain that the foundation plate has been positioned exactly, the connecting pipe loaded with concrete rings can be positioned by way of flotation. A team of experienced divers perform the connection of this pipe to the connecting flange of the pump well. The exact timing of submersion and adjustment of the piping is extremely important. One of the striking advantages of TAPIS is the permanent availability of every component, even under operating conditions and underwater. In this way, the individual cling-free elements can be separately mounted or exchanged for maintenance or revision purposes without having to take the polyhedra completely out of the water. 
After the interconnecting piping and the foundation plate have now been fixed to their positions, the polyhedra can be installed. The diver team will be employed. They will accompany the polyhedra down into the water to connect them to the foundation plate, the connecting piping and the pressurized air pipes. Upon completion of the installation, Tapis presents a neat and compact cooling water extraction system without the need for coarse screen, skip rake, overloaded traveling band screens and spray water pumps associated with labor-intensive, high-cost maintenance and costly handling of debris removed from the cooling water system and disposed of in compliance with environmental restrictions. How does TAPIS function? When the pumps are operating, water is flowing through the polyhedra via the interconnecting piping to the pump well and from there to the heat exchangers. With a maximum of 0.4 meters per second, the water inlet velocity into the polyhedra is kept so low that suction forces are insignificant, which means that not only fouling, but also fish, jellyfish and other creatures are not drawn in or retained by the perforated cling-free elements. The cleaning of the polyhedra is initiated by the fully automatic control. The compressor maintains the pressure in the air receiver at a predetermined pressure. Once the signal for cleaning the polyhedra has been given, the flap at the outlet of the pressurized air receiver opens and sends the air blast via the connecting pressurized air piping into the interior of one of the polyhedra. The distribution of the pressurized air pulse within the polyhedron is the result of extensive research work of the physical properties of air in water. Making optimal use of it and thereby safeguarding a uniform cleaning of the cling-free elements is one of the successes of TAPIS. Back to the system. With running cooling water pump, water enters into the connecting piping via the perforation of the polyhedra and thereby into the cooling water system. The extensive surface area of the polyhedra results in a low flow velocity so that even lightly suspended matter such as plastic foils or small jellyfish are not drawn in. Only few backwash cycles per day are necessary. The pressurized air receiver, the compressor and the control are located indoors to protect them from effects of the weather. The start of the TAPIS system is initiated either from the central control room or manually at the local control panel. The compressor charges the pressurized air receivers until the necessary operation pressure is reached. Once the signal for air backwash is given, the outlet flap opens and releases the air pulse via the connecting piping into the intended polyhedron. The escaping pressurized air expands inside the polyhedron and rises to the water surface as a dynamic air bubble, carrying any accumulated fouling away with it. While the high pressure is required to detach the fouling, the big air volume spreads the detached fouling over a large area. Tapis withdraws water from a river or the sea and treats it for cooling purposes without, however, as is the case with conventional pre-screening systems, removing fouling from the water. Tapis saves building expenditure because it completely replaces conventional multi-stage pre-screening systems. Tapis operates without moving parts which minimizes maintenance cost and safeguards the system reliability. TAPIS is a modular concept. It is therefore easy to adapt to project-specific flow rates and topology. TAPIS is the starter module for intact. 
high-performance debris filter and tap rocker system complete the concept of an optimized cooling water system. <laughs>